Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. So as promised, I am here with my Ipsy goodie bag haul. This is the goodie bag that I got in LA when I went to Generation Beauty. I went to the little pre-cocktail party in Ipsy Studios and they gave us these huge goodie bags. We got these big old goodie bags from the Ipsy party. <laughs> It's like so heavy. I want to take my wig off. And I don't know if you've seen any other YouTubers who have went and have done this type of video, but even if you just watched my LA vlog, you know that this thing is just like the best goodie bag ever. So I told you guys in my LA vlog that I would come back and make a separate haul video of just what was in this goodie bag. So I'm going to do that right now. So first I'm going to show you some of the makeup products that I've actually been using ever since I got from LA out of this bag because there's so much stuff in here so I just kind of want to start with the stuff that I've actually used and the stuff that I like so far. First thing and most favorite thing probably in here is this mascara and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which I'm super super late trying this but I just never really thought to try it. I've been using my drugstore mascara for ages, totally fine with it, didn't really see a need to branch out or buy anything more expensive but this came in my Ipsy goodie bag and I knew I had to try it because I've heard so much about it. Bruh, this mascara is life. Like it is life. It is actually worth the hype. Everything that they say about it is true. I'm wearing it right now. Bomb. Next thing is this LA Girl Pro Powder and this is similar to the Makeup Forever HD setting powder and I've had that before and I've tried it. This I'm sure is much cheaper though because this is a cheaper brand. Um, it comes in a similar packaging. It actually comes in a bigger package though and this is like I said just, just like that HD powder. So it works the same. Sets your makeup really well. It's a very 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 fine white powder so you can put it under your eyes. It won't cake up. It won't crease and yeah so I've been using this to set my makeup lately and I really really love it as a translucent setting powder. Next thing is this primer and this is by Jouer, Jouer, a brand I never heard of, J-O-U- J-O-U-E-R and um, it's just this matte primer and it has salicylic acid in it so it's an anti-blemish matte primer and I've been using this as my primer because um, you guys know that in my last drugstore haul I bought the baby skin um, primer by Maybelline. It's about Maybelline and I don't really like it. Just like you guys said in the comments it's like really oily and I don't really like it. Um, so I got this in the goodie bag and I decided to try it and I like this a lot more. It's kind of weird because it comes out looking almost like an acne cream like it's like this white creamy consistency but when you spread it out it really does mattify your face and I like the fact that it has salicylic acid in it to help fight acne. Another favorite thing that I got in the goodie bag is this eyebrow pencil and this is by a brand called Chella and it's just a taupe eyebrow pencil. It's one of the retractable ones so you just roll it up and it just looks like this in this little tiny little pencil and this is also something that I've never heard of but I love it so much. It's like the perfect color. I did my brows with it today. The retractable thing doesn't bother me like it usually would because it is so skinny that it's just like using a pencil so I really really like this for the color and how thin it is also the consistency of the product is really nice too so this is really awesome another thing that I've been using lately and that I also use today is this Too Faced foundation this actually didn't come in our goodie bag but they were giving it away at Generation Beauty the next day and so basically they were color matching everyone and giving you a free full bottle of their foundation and this is their Born This Way foundation. Um, it's like supposed to be more of a natural look I guess and I got it in the shade Honey. So yeah the packaging is really cute really kind of like high quality high-end packaging. I mean it's Too Faced um, so it is more of a higher-end brand. I'm not sure how much this retails for but so far I really really like it. Um, it's more of a darker tone than I would usually go for but I'm glad I got it because now it's summertime and I've actually gotten a tan so it actually matches me really well and I really like the finish of it. I love the coverage. It's kind of like I said more of a natural look um, but since my skin has been pretty clear lately it's been working for me. Um, it's not comparable to Kat Von D Lock a Tattoo Foundation or anything like that, but it is a really nice finish. To go along with the foundation, um, some brushes came in my goodie bag, and this one is by Heavenly Luxe. It's a duo 
complexion perfection brush so it has an all-over brush and a concealer brush on the other side so I've been using the fluffier side to blend out my foundation this brush is so soft it's like a almost like a kabuki it's like a dome top and then they have the smaller one for your concealer so this side is really good for foundation the other side is really good for like blending out the concealer around your brows or something like that so this is awesome also came with another duo brush and this one is by crown brushes um, and I have not tried this one yet but it's like the stippling style brush duo fiber I think that's what it's called and it's like a flat top one and then like a more tapered one on the other side so this will probably really come in handy and by the way all the things that I'm showing you so far except for like the Too Faced foundation that I told you I actually got from Generation Beauty this was all in this big old makeup case that was in this big old goodie bag so this is just like one case one part of the goodie bag um, and there's still so much more stuff in here that I have not talked about yet so I'm just going to quickly run through the rest of the stuff that was in this um, case because there's so much stuff and I haven't tried any of this stuff so I don't really have much to say about it but I just want to quickly show you what was in here so there was this pixie by Petra palette which came with a bronzer a highlighter a blush and then four different eyeshadow trios also came with another palette this one is by cargo cosmetics and it's the essential eyes palette so I haven't even opened this box yet why don't we open it now so this is what it looks like. It's one of those slide out palettes. Oh no, it's not. It's one of these type of palettes. Magnetic or whatever. So this is what's in here. Just some nice neutral tones. Also comes with an eyeliner and a brush. Also in here is the Ardell Pro Brow Defining Kit, which comes with a brow palette, a brow grooming pencil with sharpener, and a duo ended brush with an angle brush and a spoolie on the other side. I've actually never seen this brow kit in stores or anything like that. I did not know that Ardell made this. Next, it came with a little sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I've been using this primer on my own accord for a while now. I really like it, so I have a little sample of it to travel with I guess so that's really cute it also came with this mascara which is the lights camera lashes 4-in-1 mascara by Tarte this is another mascara that I always always hear about but never thought to try I haven't tried it yet but now I'm going to a buxom palette this is called Dolly's Wild Side and it just came with some really nice shades like this which kind of remind me of like the Naked palette, like really rosy, shimmery, rose gold type shades and a purple shade in there as well. So that's really nice. Another Tarte product is this little blush and this is the blush called Fearless. And it's just a nice rosy toned blush. So this will probably be really pretty. Then it came with a City Color Bronzer. This is their bronzer in Sunset. Also came with a Bare Minerals eyeshadow. This is really big for eyeshadow. This is like blush size. So I'm not sure, is this a quad or what? Let's find out. So it's got this really cute matte black packaging and this is actually an eyeshadow quad. Oops, the little brush fell out. <laughs> but yeah, so it has these neutral tones in it, kind of like khaki tones. So that's really cute. And there's still a bunch more stuff in here. So I'm gonna try and hurry up. I know this video is going to be like 30 minutes long, but who cares? I mean, it's makeup. It's exciting. Also by that same Chella brand that made the little eyebrow pencil that I showed you, um, there's these little highlighter pencils, I guess. Ivory lace highlighter. So it's like this really nice peachy tone pencil and cappuccino highlighter. So I guess maybe you can use this. Oh yeah, you use it on your eyes. So I guess like under the brow bone, in your inner corner, whatever. So these are probably really nice as well. Then we have a giant bronzer crayon oh my god this is huge wait is this this isn't real okay never mind that's just the packaging they fooled me i thought this was an actual crayon this big but it's actually just the packaging it's plastic this is by trace stick and it is a color and contour cheek stick so i think oh you open it like this interesting see that and then it's just a little contour stick for your cheeks so I've never had anything in stick form like this I just never really got to try it so that's probably gonna be interesting to try more mascara this is lash domination by bare minerals bare minerals well rested face and eye brightener this is also something that I've heard of um, for under eye highlighting bare minerals marvelous moxie lip gloss which is this pink tone right here smashbox what is this 
Photo Angle Pigment Gel Liner. So Smashbox Angled Gel Liner. Um, it has like a little angled applicator. I think I've heard of this too. Did I just break it? I think I just broke it. <laughs> Why am I open? Was I supposed to unscrew it? I don't understand this. Oh, I'm stupid. You're supposed to unscrew it. I'm gonna make sure it says something. And then I guess you take this out. Oh, it has like this little weird rubbery angled tip. Like this is like rubber and then the gel comes out the middle of it. That's weird. I don't think I'm gonna like that. Pacifica Deeply Devoted Creamy Color Lipstick. Galani Cosmetics uh something lipstick i don't know then we've also got smashbox um same kind of gel liner but in the brown color then we have noni cream color prevails ombre mascara in plum black so one side has black mascara and the other side has purple mascara so i guess you're supposed to like Okay, it says step one, use the plum side. Step two, use the black side for an ombre tip. That's kind of a cool idea. And the last thing in this makeup holder thing was Buxom Lip Polish Shimmering Pout Plumping Shine Refreshing Tingling Lip Gloss by Buxom. So that was everything in here, but there's still so much more. Cause we still have this whole bag and it's still it's full of stuff and it's really heavy so it came with a bunch of like separate makeup bags in here so now i just have like makeup bags for life i'll never need to get another makeup bag ever again um this one is by bed be, <laughs> be bombshell cosmetics.com and it has stuff in here it has like actually a bunch of stuff from their brand in here like some individual eyeshadows some lip gloss what is this a blush so just like about one two three four five six products from their line and I've never heard of this line before but okay now I get to try it and it has a makeup bag another makeup bag this is from it cosmetics which I'm sure we've all heard of it cosmetics but I've actually like never really tried anything from them it has a cute little pink tassel so this is full of it cosmetics products as well that actually was the one that had the brush in it I think it was this crown brush that was in here and it also came with a lipstick, a pore eraser, micro powder, a mascara, brow power, which is a brow pencil, bye bye under eye, which is a full coverage waterproof concealer. So this is probably really awesome. Also in here is a CC cream with SPF 50. So that was everything in the IT Cosmetics bag. Moving on, we got a Sephora makeup bag, and this one is really cute. It says, I would cry, but my mascara is designer, and it's in like this little burlap pouch. So I'll probably be using this pouch a lot. And in here, it just came with some Sephora face masks. Also came with a Sephora lip gloss in this hot pink color. It's really pretty. And also an eyeshadow. Oh, this is cute. This is called good fortune cookie is this an eyeshadow i think so yeah eyeshadow and it's like this really cute shimmery champagne color so i will probably definitely be using this um also in here was a little phone charger portable charger thing like one of those things that you charge up and then you take it with you and then if your phone dies you plug your phone into that i don't know where it is right now i think i put it in my travel bag but yeah so that was actually really clutch because i didn't have one of those and those things come in handy so much then in here we have my little badge that um actual generation beauty badge and i got a beauty creator badge because i'm special um then i just have my box from my born this way Too Faced foundation that i already showed you guys also in here, there's just some loose products, um, some more LA Girl Pro stuff. They have a primer, which I definitely want to try if it'll focus. So LA Girl Pro Primer and LA Girl Pro Setting Spray, which if you know me, you can never have too many setting sprays. I did not set my face today. I'm going to try this. That's actually really refreshing and it comes out in a really fine mist which is like really important because you don't want like chunks of spray hitting your face and messing up your makeup 
but this is actually really nice. Then we have another pouch and you guys might recognize this from Beautycon because um, they gave away these same NYX pouches at Beautycon Dallas. Um, so let's see what's in here. Hopefully it's not the same exact products because I don't need any more of those. So it has some NYX high voltage lipsticks. I think these are probably matte lipsticks maybe. It doesn't say matte on here, but it's got this really neon pink color, um, really bright, vivid red color, and also a nude color, which is pretty. This is number 21, um, really cute nude color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Along with um, their NYX Butter Glosses, this is a really cute neon purple butter gloss, and also a rouge red tone in their butter gloss as well as three individual eyeshadows oh this is cute not that i wear this kind of eyeshadow but it's like a really pretty mint green color and then like a pewter and a pretty copper tone so i'll probably use this one and yeah this one's called bedroom eyes Ooh. also ooh, a color correcting palette so with all your color correctors and what are these these is these is this is a gel liner crayon and this is in brown gel liner crayon uh pitch black and then what is this this is a liquid liner liquid matte liner um in black so i'll probably definitely get use out of this then we got these dermatologica pouches and it came with like three different types of pouches connected into one these are empty and then this one had stuff in it um this is actually a really cute like summer bag but cool um so this came with dermatologica products in here and i've heard of this brand but never tried it it came with their matte moisturizer and their all over toner so these might be really nice uh, let me know down below for all of these products if you guys have tried any of these if any of these are just like yes Raven you need to try this right now let me know what I need to try first this is a lot of stuff and like I don't even know where to start we also got a bunch of China Glaze nail polishes from their neon collection so um, this one which is like a peachy tone coral tone flip-flop fantasy a bright orange called home sweet house music and the lady at generation beauty told us that these are all formulated to glow under black lights so if you go to like a club or a rave or something you'll be like looking all cool under the lights um, and then this blue and pink color and then this trio that has blue purple and an orange color so these are really bright and fun for summer okay so I need your help for my next manicure which one of these should I use comment down below Coral, orange, dark orange, purple, blue, hot pink, or teal. Which one? Vote down below. And there's still more stuff in here. Oh, and I totally forgot we actually got a whole box of proactive stuff because I just remember because there's these proactive wipes in here, makeup cleansing wipes by proactive. But let me go get the box. I actually got this whole box as well and this is like the whole proactive system or whatever I guess. Clear and radiant skin, um, advanced acne treatment. I guess this is like their new stuff. And it came with these three products. The Skin Smoothing Exfoliator, Pore Targeting Treatment, Complexion Perfecting Hydrator was in there. So that's really, really nice from Proactive. As well as the makeup wipes that I just showed you from Proactive. And also there's some more Proactive stuff in this bag. They got the Advanced Dark Spot Correcting Serum, which I'm actually really excited about this because you guys know that I'm trying to clear up my dark spots, my acne scars. And um, I would never actually go out and buy proactive stuff so I just think it's kind of gimmicky but now that I have it I might as well try it and I can let you guys know if it's worth it also they have the redness relief serum by proactive and I think that was all the proactive stuff we also got this little thing from lush I thought it had two lush things in here maybe I lost it maybe not um this is life's a beach body scrub by lush and I like hardly ever get my hands on any lush products so this is really nice little body scrub this I'm actually really excited about because I have pale girl probs this is actually a self tanner 
Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, that's how you say it, right? Um, yeah, anyway, it looks like this. Y'all can read it for yourself. Um, I'm pretty sure I've heard of this self tanner before. I think a lot of people like it. Self Tan Express. This is a one hour tan, and you can like leave it on for longer if you want a darker tan. Um, yes, I am African American, but I like to be tanner than I am, so I'll probably use this. Also, in here, we've got something from Bear Republic, which I've never heard of, but their packaging is so cute and this is a natural mineral sunscreen tinted sunscreen type thing chlorine what is this oh dry shampoo by a brand called chlorine then we've got Sechvite, ceviche sechi i can't say this you guys i don't know what this says but this is a fast dry top coat for your for your nails. Then they also gave us, which is really exciting, three of these Laneige um, cushion foundations. And they gave it to us in light, medium, and dark so that we could have our color. I'm probably more in the medium shade. And I've been seeing a lot of makeup artists and stuff on YouTube talking about these cushion foundations. Um, and I'm pretty sure that these are probably kind of expensive. So I have all three of them. And the very last thing in this goodie bag is this microdermabrasion scrub by Derma E. Just this little scrub right here. Whew. Okay, so that was finally everything. And also the bag is really cute. Little um, canvas bag, it says, from Ipsy with love. So yeah, I think that was everything. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I know I started kind of running through it and taking stuff out, so hopefully I didn't leave out anything. But as you can see, this was like the most bomb goodie bag ever. Thank you so much to Ipsy and Michelle Fan and everyone in Generation Beauty for even inviting me to the pre-party so that I can get my hands on this goodie bag. I'm so, so thankful for all of these products. I don't need all of this stuff. So I think I'm actually going to go through this stuff and pick out a few things that maybe I don't need or duplicates and stuff like that. And make like a little mini goodie bag out of it um yeah i think that's a good idea do a giveaway you guys think that's a good idea okay so if you guys want to enter the giveaway just check the description i will put all the info for how you can enter and how you can win so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this super long crazy haul um like i said definitely leave your comments down below of things that i should definitely try first and stuff that you like that you've seen in this video stuff that you've tried or whatever and yeah um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one bye